In this video, I will share my 20 hacks about this. If you know me, you know that I always travel, walk, sleep, work with the two cell phones. And so many of you have asked, what's up with the two cell phones? I'm gonna share 20 reasons, 20 little life hacks why I have two cell phones. I have two cell phones, I believe, for about six, seven years now. I cannot go back to one phone. And once you listen and hear how I use them, maybe it'll make sense to you to switch as well. Here we go. Took me a couple minutes to put this list together. Um, so many people recently traveled to Minnesota. Adam Sand, Elizabeth uh, came, spent a couple days with me and they're like, Dimitri, what's up with the two phones? And after I explained it to them, they're like, makes perfect sense. And I'm like, I should do a video for everybody about it. You know how they say that uh, two screens on a TV, on a computer, uh, makes you 50% more productive. I would argue that having two phones makes you 100% more productive. You literally doubling. So here's how it works. Number one is it's literally doubles your productivity. Two cell phones, two smart cell phones, literally will double your productivity. So number two is very simple. You can be on the phone talking to someone while you're reading something. You can be reading emails, you can be reading Facebook posts, watching videos, titles, articles, news, whatever, while you're on a phone. Very easy applications, I use it all the time. People call me all the time, obviously, and they actually ask me about something. Like, hey, I sent you that email. Well, I, I, I use this way more than I use my computer. So what I do is like, I'm just on a phone and I'm kind of scrolling, or if they text me, I can actually go and look at the text. Obviously you can put them on a speaker phone and you can do the same thing but it's not as easy as actually have another screen number three is you can record yourself instantly something I do all the time because I have people threatening me I have people calling me uh, who are very shady like if I want to record a phone conversation let's say I do a YouTube video exposing someone and people will call me and say hey I've seen you mention my name like this is not cool what I do is I immediately turn off my camera on one phone start recording and you've seen a lot of those videos by the way you know your home advisor ex employees so I'm on the phone here put them on a the speaker phone uh, I can upload it later to YouTube uh, and you can see me talking to someone on a speaker phone reason number four battery issues we deal with it all the time my phones probably die by 9 a.m i get up every day five in the morning uh, sometimes before five i go work out i do stuff so my phones are not always plugged with the two phones you have two batteries and they do last a lot so if this phone has five percent on it and this has 25 guess what i'm using this number five it's two phones and two numbers so it's not my burner phone my wife my employees uh, everybody who knows me closely they actually know both numbers they're both cell phones they have full service they uh, have both hotspots, they have uh, full internet on them, just two numbers, everybody knows those numbers. They both work in cell phones and people know both numbers for me. Number six, you can be in two different accounts at the same time. You know, on the Facebook, social media, Instagram, Twitter, you have to log out and log in. For me, it's a problem. I have a personal brand, personal following, let's say on Instagram, or on a Facebook, but I also have my business pages. I have quite a few businesses that I manage. So what I can do with the two phones, I can be on Instagram personal on this phone and on the Instagram business for roofing insights on this phone. And a lot of times I post on both, but obviously it's a different content. Sometimes you have to be logged into one account while you're working on another account. If you manage a couple YouTube channels or more than one YouTube channel, you can have one here, one here. I log in and log out all the time. Facebook, the same thing. You can't even watch a Facebook video while you're doing something else on, on a Facebook. That's a problem for me. If I want to listen, let's say a podcast or interview five minute clip, it's five minutes of my life that I have to spend on it. Well, I can multitask. I can watch Facebook video here and I can do same thing or something different on a Facebook here. Like people message you, you can go to messenger, you can log out without logging out. Reason number seven, unfortunately, phones are smart, but they still crash. Uh, apps crash, you have uh, connectivity issues. So many times it happened actually to me where one phone 
it, you know, you, you go to Facebook and you cannot log in or it kicks you out or you have password, like whatever. But you go to another one, just fine. Just yesterday, I could not use my notes. Couldn't figure it out. Like f f notes on this phone and they're saying would not open, just black screen. Notes on this phone work just fine. Number eight, you always have an option to give a phone away for, let's say you travel with a teammate and you have to separate really quick and he doesn't have a phone or he, his phone died or something like that. You can give him a phone and now you're still connected with him because obviously you know two numbers. As a matter of fact, recently we were traveling with my videographer who's filming video right now and we were at the airport and I have a Delta app on both phones and I don't print my tickets. I just uh, use the de uh, tickets on the app. And uh, I was eating, he wanted to go check in and I still was finishing and I said, uh, and I said well, go check in, I'll see you at the gate. He's like, I don't have a ticket. I gave him my phone opened in the Delta app and I said, here's your pass. Gave him my phone with my pass because I had two phones. I could do it. Number nine, probably shouldn't be sharing it publicly, but it's secret recording. When you face, um, when two phones are facing glasses like this, you can actually open them up turn both cameras on and if you want to record the conversation with someone you can just randomly walk to people as a matter of fact i did it this year with a green sky rep green sky have sent me cease and desist letter um, telling me in uh, their lawyers were telling me that my review were biased and i was spreading false information and information was that you have to be in business for two years uh, that's what i was saying in a review to offer green sky financing. Well, according to their lawyers, it's one year. Well, the very next week I traveled to Chicago and I met green sky rep covering Minnesota and Chicago, several states. Uh, he'd been with the green sky for seven years and I came to him with a setup like this. So I have my phone, both phones, you know, you have camera here, you have camera here, you turn it on and you're just holding them in your hands. People don't think you're recording and you're just moving. Yeah, we should talk about Green Sky, it's just the difference because we can probably save you some money if you wanted to talk. What, what's the difference? Well, uh, for one, we do about three times the volume as them for a reason. Uh -huh. Our mobile app is, is even easier. It's, it's known as being the, the best in the What industry. kind of rates you offer for the homeowners? And, uh... Oh, it goes all the way from, you know, we've got 2.99 all the way on up. And then what's the, um, what's the dealer's fee? Yeah, what's the dealer fee on 2.99? You know, uh, well, we've got... Over 10% at that point? No, we've got, uh, you can probably plan out between 6 and 8% uh, six in and terms eight. of mer merchant fees. How um, long do you have to be in business to, to start using? Two years. Two years? Yeah. If, if homeowner gets denial with one platform, they usually get denial with another one. Pretty what's much. the minimum credit score? Pretty, yeah, pretty similar. I mean, we work prime and, you know, mostly prime. Uh, uh, well, you know, we prefer 680. We'll go to about 650, you know, sometimes 620. But, uh, you know, if, if somebody has this restaurant credit, it's probably not a match for us. It's probably not a match for anybody else. And I came and asked him, hey, how long you have to be in business to offer Green Sky financing? And he told me, two years case is closed there's nothing green sky could do about it as a matter of fact i came back home and i sent that lawyer who sent me cease and desist letter say listen you can say all you want you can shush me all you want but your rep after you send me this letter still saying it's two years so before you send your legal dogs on me you have to deal with your team and make sure that information they spread out is accurate because i take information from public places here's the recording after you send me cease and desist number 10 you can share the phone with someone who needs the phone um, again happens all the time my my kids don't have a phone so if i have to go to the store i can leave one phone behind sometimes phone dies sometimes phone crashes like let's say you go on a trip and someone loses their phone and for the next two days they're not going to have a cell uh, phone on them you can give one of them because you're generous you have two you'll survive without a phone for a day or two so you can always share one uh, number 11, you can show passes or use GPS while actively on the phone. Something happens to me all the time. I would be on the phone like, you know, at the airport, you're about to walk in uh, past the gate and you need uh, the code. Well, how are you going to do it? You have to um, pause it and stuff. And I don't even stop. I go in on the phone, 
boom, scan, you go right in. Very unique when you're driving. Um, you know, you can, a lot of times I would be on the phone and I'll just uh, give my wife GPS and say, hey, follow this, right? So I don't have to stop what I'm doing here just because they need my phone for direction, for the address, for the email. I can open it up here. I don't have to interrupt what I'm doing. Number 12, you can type while you proof watching or reading something, something I do a lot. Uh, when we make videos for YouTube, a lot of times I will be making notes. So my videographer will send me 20 minute video. We have an app for YouTube for creators, creator app. So I would open it. The thing about that app, you need to make notes. If, you, if you're watching 20 minute video and you wanna make corrections for it, right? I would be watching video on this phone and I would be making corrections in my notes on this phone Phone while I'm watching that. You, something you can't do, just can't do with one phone. So I would make 20 notes. By the time I finish watching, I'm already sending that email to my videographer to make those corrections. I'm done. Something you can't do with one phone, with two phones is so easy because some of those apps are still not user friendly. You, you cannot close it to go out. It's very inconvenient. You waste too much time doing it. You have to close, jump out, make a note, come back, keep watching. Number 13, uh, one of my favorites, it's a great conversation starter. I cannot tell you how many times you go in somewhere, you're sitting on a plane with someone or just in general life, like, oh, you have two phones. Yes, I do. Like, is that a burner phone? So people always need a reason to talk to you, to start a conversation with you if they found you interesting. And uh, I'm an introvert. It's very hard for me to start talking to people. Um, and when people ask me a question about what I do, it's a great starter. Once I get to know you and we're already talking, it's much easier for me to continue with the conversation. But for me, two phones always been a great conversation starter. I just love it. Number 14, you can go live on two different platforms. I've done it many times. A lot of creators do it. For example, if you have big following on two platforms or maybe personal and business, well, the easiest way to go live on both is to have two phones, two devices. I can go live right now for Facebook and for YouTube at the same time. Without two phones, you'll have to come up with a camera, maybe another computer or borrow a phone or something. For me, this is logged into one business and right now we're doing directory and roofing insights, for example. I have two Facebook pages. Well, guess what? I can go two different lives and two different Facebook pages to, uh, at the same time. Absolutely amazing, saves you tons of time. Number 15, something I've done many times, you can actually connect with the two different people with the two different uh, mediums or platforms. For example, let's say you're on a Facebook Live with someone or uh, I talk uh, to people overseas all the time. Um, it's a little bit harder to connect uh, with the um, uh, tune in just with the sharing calls like merge calls on a cell phone uh, or maybe you're in uh, zooming with someone so you're zoom with a person or, or you facebook living with a person and you can call someone while you're on another phone so uh, instead sometimes um, your phone will fail you about merging calls. It's, it's not always easy, but if you're on a phone with someone here and you can try to get someone in here, you can have two phones on a speaker phone and connect it and they still will hear each other and will hear you. Number 16 is kind of big deal for me. Actually saved us on our trips a lot. You always have a great camera in your hands on your trip. So it's a camera backups. Obviously new phones, I have um, 12 Pro here, I have 11 Pro here iPhones, and these cameras are absolutely amazing. You have slow motions, you have amazing cameras, you have pictures, you have 4K camera. So, so many times your DSLR camera might have up, be out of battery. Maybe you've been working for two days and all your cards are full, or I mean, who knows what? Stuff happens, maybe the camera broke or got stolen or whatever, and you're already doing big interviews. So, so many times, if I see that we only have two working cameras and I would like to have third angle, I would just take my phone, put it somewhere on a shelf, and I would have a 4K video entire time, like 30, 40 minute interview. It will be my at least backup. 
saves me all the time. Or I can even do two of them. If you're in a content business, a lot of times uh, it helps because in your hands, having 4K camera is amazing. You're walking in, your camera guy probably with the DSLR camera will have, will need a little bit more time to set up with me. I'm walking in, I see something important. You film it, you document it, it's done. Otherwise, you would miss the opportunity. In 2021, guys, if you're not creating content for your business, if you're not building your personal brand, you're missing out. You should be documenting your journey, whatever it is that you're doing. And it's much easier to document your journey when you have two cameras, not one. Number 17 is you always have internet access. Obviously, because you have two cell phones, you have two hotspots. You know, if my employee, when we travel and do an event at a hotel, need extra phone uh, to connect to the internet, hey, connect internet here, doesn't bother me. Obviously you have two hotspots, everything doubles with the sharing data. Number 18, it's probably a stupid reason, but phones are cheap. How much you think you're paying for it? 30, 40 bucks? Um, if you already have a phone, I mean, investment, even for the phone like this, it's thousand bucks. Obviously with AT&T, Verizon, you'll get your phone for like 20 bucks a month. I just got my parents two iPhones, 11s, I think 64 gigs for like $17 a month. I mean, come on, that's installment. And I think the plan is like $25 or 30 bucks. I mean, it's cheap. It's not expensive. Years ago, 20 years ago, it probably would be super expensive. Today, it's a dirt cheap for everything you get because value is definitely there. Number 19, two cell phones makes great entertainment uh, work combinations. I use it all the time. You can play music on this phone, uh, maybe watch a movie. While you're doing that, you can actually work and be very productive here. You can answer emails and stuff. At the end of the day, you're tired and you, you want to spend some time on social media, listen to the podcast, stuff like that. So great work, entertainment combination. Uh, obviously, if you're listening music, you know, you're listening music, but it's so easy to multitask and do two things at the same time. Uh, I do it all the time. When I sit in my car, I plug in this phone in my portal in my car. So immediately it connects to either latest book I'm reading or podcast I've been listening or some music. And this phone can be used as a GPS up front. In my car, when I drive, if I'm listening to podcast and second phone would be ringing, uh, first one that actually will pass. The last one is uh, you can use notes and you can use uh, it as a almost as a computer while you're doing live or maybe interviews. So many times you guys actually see me, I would go live on this phone, but I would use all my notes for the live or questions on this phone. So I don't need my computer. A lot of you think that I'm, uh, I'm not respectful to people uh, that I interview. Uh, during my interviews that I'm on my phone. I'm actually not on my phone. If you see me during the interview looking down, it's because I'm reading questions from my notes. My interviews usually have about 30 questions and I prepare for my interviews for days. So when I see, when I sit next to the person, uh, we record question after question. So I would look down, I would read what's next, raise my head. And sometimes my camera guys or myself will not allow it, um, enough time for transactions. So you'll see me go on my phone and up. And the reason I'm addressing it because I've seen some comments on the channel of people like, it's so disrespectful. You, you're interviewing them. Stop being on your phone. Well, I'm not on my phone. I'm on my notes. And I highly recommend you guys, if you are in the content creating business, maybe you're doing business, uh, business videos for your clients and, um, you just record it on a regular basis. Make sure you have an outline. Don't wing it. It appreciates people's time. Don't be selfish. I see so many guys, they just go live and life is 40 minutes and you're like, you could be faster. And I'm guilty of that too. That's why I always have notes. Even when I'm in my car recording live, uh, my second phone usually have you know, four or five, six points. Once you do business with two phones, you will never be the same. You will never go back. I hope it helps someone. If you do decide to get a second phone, I want to hear from you. Comment below and comment below the coolest reason that you heard from this video uh, about it. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a like so more people will see it helps with the algorithm. Also, let me know if you like this content. If you want more life hacks, 
I have amazing work-life balance. I not only two cell phones, but I do a lot of things that people just don't realize I do. I've been running five businesses for a couple of years. I have a lot of employees. I have five kids and I had to learn how to be efficient. I work out twice a day. I spend time with the kids every day, obviously with my employees. So if you guys are interested in how I do it, I will share it, but you have to let me know. I'm not gonna just dump it on you because I think it's important. It's important for you, it's important for me. See you guys in the next video. Have a new year.